Welcome back in the effects section of the Finally 3D Masterclass. In this first uh, lesson I will talk about the effect window, how that you can see how to arrange it and what you can do with it. Let's have a look at the effects window, because this is a place where you manage your effects, add new ones and maybe use this window to put effects in a show. So when we make it big here, we see different parts of this window. And let's start with the blue one at the right top in this window. When you click on it, you see different catalogs. Um, first, there is a generic effects catalog. Uh, it's our demo database where we have implemented 6000 uh, generic effects that you can use in your shows or copy it to my effects. Then we have the per show effects. That's a window where you can see which effects are in a show. So when I select the position here and put these effect in this show and I switch to the per show effects, you can see these effects here. It's a good overview of what effects you have used in the show. So let's have a look. What else is there? The My Effects. This is your own database that starts on the Finale server in the cloud. Uh, it's good to create all effects here and manage them because they are stored in the cloud. Uh, we have a data and a backup for them. And um, you then you have one place that you can work with with all effects from different manufacturers or something else. All other points are supplier effect databases that we deliver with the product. You can switch them on and off. Uh, I show you how in a different section of this course. So let's go back to the generic effects and have a look what we can do here. First of all, we can sort them with just a simple click on the column header of the row. If I want to sort them for description, for the names, I just click here, another click will sort it in the other direction. If you want to search for two columns, then you must make a right click on the column, on the second column, and use the function add this column to the criteria. Then you have two different columns that are sorted. It makes no sense here, but maybe you have the column description, or and then make size. Okay. If you want to make only one column, just click with the left mouse in the column again. Of course, it's possible to um, move height columns. So if you don't use quota or available, make a right click and then you say height column, height column. You also can move the columns around uh, and make them bigger. I press the shift key now on the, not the shift key, the, the left mouse button key here to make the size as I want it to be. <coughs> um, I mentioned that this is a place where you can change a lot of things yeah so it's even possible to change the names like or even the size if you don't want to have uh, it in inch you can say it's, it's millimeter you can change the pre-fire time and of course the duration of the effects 
and it's simple as in Excel you can change all of these settings here you want to change and there are also more columns that you can use you can reach them if you click on the gear menu in the upper here and then we have a lot of other uh, attributes that you can show like the price yeah. and then you can give a price for your effects here or you can maybe put in the manufacturer yeah or other fields xce numbers when numbers costs yeah Then we have a filter, so we can say, okay, I want to have all effects that have a mine, and I press enter. There are all effects that have a mine in description, VDL, or wherever. So you see, it's not only type mine, it's a lot of cakes here, comets with mines, yeah. And maybe that's not what you want. So we had um, this green ones here that we call selectors and it's possible to add selectors like the type then we can make a right click here and say add this column as selector and now we can choose between the different types here that are available and maybe that is what we want yeah now we have only types here. If we arranged our layout with the columns that we need, yeah, maybe I don't need this and I don't need this. Yeah, and I want to save it for another use. I can go here and uh, sudden go to the gear menu and say save current table layout as template and then I choose new template and I give it a name so later on you can use this layout and load it simply with the gear menu and then you say select table layout and you see there. You recognize that there are a lot of other templates already defined. Yeah, um, Most of them are uh, standard attributes and they have filters about availability, yeah, negative, zero. So you can uh, select all the files, all the effects that has, have a certain amount of uh, effects in the uh, magazines or uh, that are available for show planning. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Of course, it's possible to use the effect also to place effects in a show. Simply click on the preview picture. If you want to see a preview of the effect, move the mouse to the white line and you see a preview of the effect. This means that 24 columns are hidden, but I showed you already that they can be hidden with this menu. If you want to create your own effect database, um, it's sometimes helpful to copy effects from the other effect databases uh, to the My Effects because you have, want to change them or the prices 
are not the prices you use. So for example, these are the standard prices and uh, for the single shot this is a package price. Yeah. Now I can mark the effect and I go to edit, copy or use the shortcut, Control Z. Yeah. Switch back to the my effects and then I can of course edit and paste it. Yeah. Okay. I have to switch it all. And then it will be here. And this one. Yeah, I can search for it. Yes. For the article number. And I can use my own price, let's say three euro. Yeah, okay. So that's how you can arrange your effects, work with it, change the layout, save it, load it. Um, for loading, uh, there may be a hint, it's only saved per show, so you must load it or define it for every show that you have. But uh, in another section I show you a trick, how you can import this layout and later in Finale there will be work on a version that you can define a default layout for your effects.